Cowboy hats are a must. Our globe-trotting Gabe on assignment in another fabulous vacation spot. We've been trying to guess it. I think we have figured it out. I think so. So our clues were cowboy hats, mm -hmm. Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks, a last bastion of the West. Okay, Travel Zoo senior editor Gabe Saglier joining us from the country's oldest dude ranch. Oh, okay, who was One of better? our favorite dudes. Giddy up, Gabe. Where are we oh, at? Oh, boy. Guys, I wish you were here because this is the place. I mean, not only, yeah, a quintessential dude ranch in a beautiful area called Wolf, Wyoming, northern Wyoming. Wyoming. Yeah, right. the Montana border. Yes, Wyoming. And as you said, this is the country's very first, the original dude ranch set, uh, established by the Eaton family back in 1876. Now, why would they pick this spot? I'll tell you, let me show you something. This is a, sort of a misty start to the day out here right now, but this is why this is such a draw uh, for those of us who are looking to just disconnect, unplug, and breathe in the freshest air that Mother Nature has to offer. Uh, Eaton's Ranch, 7,500 acres out here of unspoiled land, right next to uh, the Bighorn National Forest, itself offering another 200,000 acres of open space, 1,200 miles to hike and bike. Uh, now, what do you get when you come to a dude ranch like this, guys? Because I know you're, you're planning on it as we speak. Uh, there's some great fishing, there's some great hiking, uh, trap shooting, uh, archery, but at the end of the day, it's all about connecting with the equine world, getting on horseback. That's what I did yesterday. Check this out. This is me hopping on Cash. Cash is a beautiful American paint horse. He turns 16 today. It's Cash's birthday, so very excited to have met Cash. Uh, and once you um, meet your horse, uh, they become your partner for the three, five, seven nights that you stay at this ranch, so you really get to know them super well. They become your guides across this beautiful open space. Uh, and, yeah, it's a uh, wide open space as far as the eye can see, guys. What's the best time to go there, like timing-wise? Now? So... Yeah, so great point. The season here will start June 1st. It goes through the end of September. So the first couple of months are going to be high demand. I like to travel uh, out here, get the dude ranch experience in what I call shoulder season. Mid-August into late September, that second half of the season. Kids are back at school, right? The crowds are thinned, uh, and then prices drop as well. So it's a, it's a chance to get a kind of budget a little bit uh, more nicely as well. You get access not only to, of course, this beautiful dude ranch experience, but then again, the wide open space that Wyoming is famous for. This is, after all, the the least populated state in the country. F uh, just about 500,000 people total live here on the Cowboy State. Millions of acres of public land. You mentioned Grand Teton. You mentioned Yellowstone, the country's first national park. Uh, but then you've got some great mineral uh, hot springs. You've got the rock climbing destinations. You've got thousands of lakes if you like to fish or do water sports. And i got to tell you guys, at night, when the clouds have rolled away and the stars twinkle, the stargazing is absolutely uh, phenomenal. Uh, and boy, when that air uh, fills your lungs, you're ready to giddy up, man. The population of Wyoming is 500,000 for the entire state? Can you believe it? Look yeah, and guy. you feel it. I mean, when you're walking the streets, when you're driving around, it's, it's uh, you know, plenty of elbow room, I'll tell you that. Wow. Half a million people total across the Cowboy State. Yeah. Okay. And so we also hear there's something special happening in Sheridan in just a few days. Yeah, so this is very cool. The, the, the ranch hands here at Eaton's Ranch are getting ready for this as we speak because they'll be heading out to Gillette, Wyoming, but about, about 100 miles away uh, in just about a day or two. What happens every May is this horse drive. This is the beautiful town of Sheridan. That's the historic Sheridan Inn where I spent the last couple of nights. Uh, and what happens is these horses travel the 100 miles over three days. And keep in mind, livestock in the state have the right of way. So on highways and roads, people get out of the way as these dozens and dozens of horses make their 100-mile trek out here to welcome the season, June 1st, here at Eaton's Ranch. And it's become sort of a phenomenon. People line the streets, because uh, it's quite a thing to see, you know, these dozens and dozens of horses uh, sort of traverse uh, the landscape here uh, as they make their way to, uh, to Eaton's Ranch in this little area called Wolf, uh, Wyoming. So that's happening. Uh, they arrive here on Sunday, this coming Sunday, uh, over Memorial Day weekend, and um, there's already a buzz in the air about the horses coming to usher in the season for 2024. 500,000 people. Oh, my gosh. Dan's still <laughs> stuck in the fire. There's, I'm, I'm, there's room for all of us. I am Gabe. blown away by that, that horse yeah. parade. Can you invite us next time? I mean, we want to get to go on one of these assignments with you. I think, by the way, is there a gal ranch? Can gals, I mean, I feel like dude <laughs> ranch is like such a. Dudettes. Let Did me you tell that? you something. The head wrangler here, Kristen, is, is oh, you know, this, they're, they're the ones who really know how to do this yeah. well. I mean, we just try to, we pretend at the end of the day, Dan, but, yeah, listen, there's, I say we take the show on the road. We set it up right here. Yeah. Uh, I go. think it's, uh, it's, it's a, a beautiful thing to plan. I mean, I think that's. Yeah. Sounds great, Sounds Gabe. good to us. Uh, we get to uh, find out where, where you're going to be next. Love that hat.
Don't tell us. Let's oh, it's a surprise. surprise. No, it's a surprise. I like this. I know. I You'll find out soon. I like this yeah. thing you're doing, all right, Car Carmen San Diego. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gabe, thank Giddy you. Up, Travel safely. You got it. Thanks, Travel guys. Travel safely. <laughs>